I believe the Kalamu wetlands also has a unique characteristic on its own uh, with its biodiversity, with its scenic value. People are really imagining Colombo as a city of wetlands, which is really a fairly new concept. Uh, wetlands are generally considered something that is out in nature and elsewhere, not a part of urban life. Yourself, you can recognize the our wetland is the heaven. It's vital. It's, it's basically what keeps the city functional. Without this network of wetlands, we will be underwater much of the year. They provide the natural drainage system, the, the aquifers and uh, all these low-lying lands provide uh, these uh, services without any cost. What's exciting is to see the way that the Colombo wetlands are being designed and used to add value to the urban space rather than simply displace what could be urban development, to really see its value integrated into the way you imagine your city and the way you protect your city and the values that the city creates for the people that live in it. In an urban setting, wetlands have a direct impact on the poor because uh, they offer livelihood opportunities, economic benefits, food security. In terms of temperature, it can reduce nearly 10% uh, in, in, uh, during the daytime. And there's also uh, evidence to show that the air pollution is reduced, for, especially for those who are living in and around uh, the wetlands.
we have to make aware uh, these people of the importance of wetlands in their neighborhoods because they think just uh, it's like a jungle, just uh, an abandoned piece of land whom nobody cares about. Now I think the government has taken this very seriously. They are making every effort now to look at wetlands as part of a landscape where there would be great investment opportunities. The clientele we bring in uh, is more environmentally conscious. I don't know that we've seen a city built this mindfully around its wetlands. Uh, I think, in fact, that, uh, that Colombo is becoming the example.